Question 16. Can different check-in policies be applied on different branches? For example, can they have queue a specific policies applied on check-in in a queue a branch? Answer. No. Question 17. Are deletes you make in TFS 2010 source control physical or logical? Can accidental deletes be recovered? Answer. Deletes are fully recoverable with the undelete operation. You wouldn't want to do a SQL restore because that would roll back every change to the TFS in the time since the file was deleted. Question 18. What are the different events available in the event model and is there any documentation on them? Answer. There is really only one SCC event and that is the one that is raised on check-in. Subscription is via the general event model that is discussed in the extensibility kit. Question 19. Can we disable the override check-in policy failure checkbox? Can that be customized based on user login policy type of file type? Answer. No. It is designed it to be fully auditable by including policy compliance data in the change set details and in the check-in mail that is delivered, but left it up to the developer to determine whether they have a good reason for overriding. Question 20. Can I install the TFS 2010 build service on my TFS 2008 build machine? Answer. Yes, you can. Even though they both default to the same port, 9191, they can share that port without any problems. Question 21. Can I compare directory structures in TFS source control? Answer. No, you cannot compare directory structures in TFS source control. Question 22. Can we configure SCC to not check in the binary files? Where are such configurations done? Answer. Team Foundation version control provides a way to limit check-ins by setting up check-in policies that are evaluated before a check-in can take effect. The easiest way to do this is by authoring a policy that checks if the user is trying to check in a binary file from a given folder structure and reject or accept it in accordance. Question 23. How can I add non-solution items to source control? Answer. This can be achieved by either clicking the add icon or by going to file source control and selecting the add to source control menu item. Question 24. When a user edits a file in a source controlled project, it gets checked out automatically. Is this configurable? Can we change this behavior? Answer. Yes it can be done by configuring TFS by going to Tools, Options, Source Control. Environment provides an option where a user can change the settings to not check out files automatically on edit. Question 25. What plugin extensibility API does it expose? Answer. The Team Foundation Server Component model for modifying both the process template and creating plugins is built on to be entirely open. In many cases the entry points are defined in XML configuration files. In addition to the having this the development team and community is quite active in supplying samples of this. Brian Harry, Buck Hodges, Rob Caron. This open platform has also enabled a ecosystem system of add-ons like Team Look, Team Prize, Team Plane, Team Word, TFS Permission Manager. Question 26. Any support for distributed build tools? X. Integrating our custom data build tools into the system throughout a network. Answer. MS Build was written to be extensible and integrate with existing tools through easy-to-use XML configuration files. Many of the commercial build utilities are already using and or integrated with MS Build such as CruiseControl.net. In addition to making these actions part of the build script I have found the generic tests set to run as part of the build to do just as good a job with a rich user interface and support for managing slash filtering etc. Question 27. Does TFS include an automated build system? Answer. Yes Team Foundation Server includes an automated build system. This system is based on MS Build and offers the additional functionality of automatically running tests, profiling, code analysis, verifying policies, collating the change sets and work items for reporting. Question 28. Does it send data compression over the network? Answer. Team Foundation uses web services for cross-machine communication and by default automatically configures I.I.S. use compression. 
Question 29. How to revert rollback a check in NTFS 2010? Answer. Without using power tools or command line. Ensure tools options source control Visual Studio Team Foundation Server UN Check Get latest version of item on checkout. View the history of project folder in Source Control Explorer and right click on the change set to rollback to and choose get this version. Check out for edit on the project folder in the Source Control Explorer. This should keep your local version you just got from the history. Check in pending changes on the project folder in the Source Control Explorer. If Visual Studio asks you to resolve conflicts, choose keep local and attempt check in of pending changes on the project folder in Source Control Explorer again. Question 30. How do you use the blame feature in TFS? Answer. The TFS equivalent is the annotate command I believe. Simply right click on the versioned file in the source code explorer and select annotate. 